when, when you're at the BWF Council, that's the place where all the decisions are made. So um, whenever there is something being decided, um, as a council member, I'm also there and I have an input and I have a say on different kind of issues and my opinions are also heard at the council so that is I think the biggest value of being a chair of the At Least Commission. So as a part of the BWF council, I mean I am one of the 20 or 25 council members at the moment so you have a, a voting right on, on, on whatever is to be discussed and has to be voted for and uh, yeah of course that's a good thing for the athletes to have an athlete's representative being there when, there's, when the votings take place and to have a, to have a real vote. There are two ways how we are doing it at the moment. Uh, uh, we actively gather feedback. That means that we are, when there are specific issues which are happening, we, we go up to players and we ask them, hey, what do you think about this one? But also the other way around, that when there is an issue, that players come directly to us and, 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 and ask us you know, what to do about it and if we can address it to up, up to the BWF. It has a very wide range of issues uh, coming from quality of tournament, uh, specific practice conditions at a specific tournament, to to more the the biggest is the bigger issues such as such as prize money or or, or, or uh, marketing stuff. Uh, it depends actually how often we meet. Sometimes uh, when there is uh, something urgent, then we. We, we meet up more often and usually we do it by Skype, so we just call in everybody and, and, and see what everybody has to say. And then twice a year we have face-to-face uh, -face meetings where we just sit together, uh, preferably the seven of us, but it's not always easy to get everybody at the same time at the same place. But we are coming from a very diverse background geographically as well. Yeah, to, to find a, a good time to, for example, hold a Skype meeting is very difficult due to uh, time difference as well. So. It can be challenging even to, to uh, schedule a meeting. Well, honestly, this is, uh, it, it goes with ups and downs because uh, it can be very frustrating as well to be in at least commission, I can tell you, because uh, sometimes there are things which we as athletes feel has to be improved, but then to take the step and to actually change something it's not always easy and it doesn't always go as fast as we want to. Sometimes it's, 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 it's not always fun and it's not always uh, uh, fulfilling, but I think when you take the whole journey, the whole two years or the whole four years, uh, as long as you're in the commission, I think you're, um, it, it's, it's still fulfilling and, and it's important that, uh, to, to work for the athletes. And if, if you do so in a serious way, then the athletes would also appreciate that and that is something which, which I appreciate myself.